Greetings everyone. My name is Stukisi Kariso Prince. I'm a PhD candidate, advanced midwifery and neonatal nursing sciences from the University of Johannesburg in South Africa. My research study is entitled The Development of the Scope of Practice for Advanced Midwife and a Neonatal Nursing Science Specialist in South Africa. One may ask, what is the difference between a midwife and an advanced midwife and a neonatal nursing specialist. A midwife is a person who has successfully completed a midwifery education and training program, which is based on the International Confederations of Midwives Essential Competencies, which are the pillars and the prescriptions of the midwifery practice and the framework for global standards of midwifery education. And that person is recognized as a midwife by the regulatory body in their country of origin. So in the South African context, the South African Nursing Council is going to be the regulatory body for the midwife. And an advanced midwife and a neonatal nurse specialist is a registered nurse and a midwife who has an advanced expertise in the midwifery field because they hold an additional qualification in post-basic midwifery and a neonatal nursing science specialization. And they are registered as such by the South African Nursing Council that is in our country, South Africa. The differences between the two fields or the two categories, the midwife and an advanced midwife and neonatal nursing science specialist is dependent on the regulations which governs both the training as well as the scope of practice. A midwife in South Africa at an undergraduate or at a basic midwifery level, they are going to be trained under the regulation R425, regulation R254, regulation R174, and regulation R1497. And upon completion of their studies, they are going to practice under the prescripts of the scope of practice of a registered nurse, which is the regulation R2598, as well as the conditions under which a midwife carries their profession, regulation R2488. For an advanced midwife and a neonatal nurse specialist in South Africa, the training is prescribed by the regulation R212 and recently the regulation R683. But when it comes to the scope of practice of such a specialized practitioner, there is no specific scope of practice as yet. Therefore, our advanced midwives and neonatal nursing specialists in South Africa, they continue to practice under the prescripts meant for basic midwifery, which is the regulation R2598, as well as the regulation R2488. This has motivated the conduction of this study the development of the scope of practice for the advanced midwife and a neonatal nurse specialist, which is going to be conducted under three phases. In phase one, I'm going to conduct a systematic review of the literature on the scope of practice of an advanced midwife and a neonatal nurse specialist globally, which is in our country, South Africa, and internationally. And in phase two, I'm going to rope in the midwifery experts as well as the advanced midwifery experts to assemble them to assist me in development of the scope of practice specific for the advanced midwife and a neonatal nursing science specialist. And in phase three, the newly developed scope of practice for an advanced midwife and a neonatal nursing science specialist is going to be evaluated and validated by an even wider panel of experts, which is going to comprise of academics in advanced midwifery and neonatal nursing science, doctors who are in obstetrics, the regulatory bodies in South Africa to evaluate this scope of practice. And this study 
is conducted under the supervision of our three supervisors here, Dr. Zalga Janse van Rensbeck, Dr. Vanda Jacobs, and Dr. Alida Duplessis Fari. Special thanks to the University of Johannesburg Nursing Science Department for the special support throughout this study, as well as the financial support from the University of Johannesburg Supervisor Linked Bazari. And I thank you.